his knowledge and passion for education inspires me. And I know with his time here, sorry, I'm so thankful he's here, and I know that you will be inspired as well. Oh, that so. is so sweet. <laughs> I, I, I love Jess. I just love her. She's so great. So it is an honor and a privilege to be here for you. I promise you know, we're going to have some fun, not to bore you guys too much, to keep it kind of entertaining. And the small group, we're here for you 100%. So if you have any questions, just let us know. All right. I have had the best life. I've been very fortunate with this career. My little beauty school license has taken me around the world working. And, and I say that not to impress you but to impress upon you to be a possibility thinker. Think about the possibilities for you and, uh, and the probabilities. And I always say, every day is a new day. You know, I, I kind of had a dodgy past, you know. Don't let the past uh, challenges ever affect your future successes. So every day is a new day. So again, we are here 100% for you. We're going to do a little hair later, talk to you, and... Uh, if you have any questions about your career or about anything, and, and like I said, I've been lucky enough to coalesce with some of the greatest people in the, on the planet and wonderful countries and eat good food and, you know, work on music videos, just stuff that I, I never dreamed as a boy I'd ever, ever do. So it's been a great life for me. I'll tell you more about that when, when we do uh, another segment. But right now, I want to introduce a young guy that uh, decided he, he was homeschooled. He decided he wanted to be a hairdresser. So he started coming to every Tuesday night for, since we opened our salons. We have class every Tuesday night. It's compulsory. You have to show up. It's staff training. We're constantly about getting better, getting better. It's constant improvement, always for me. I trained at Sassoon's in London, and uh, that was, to me, was really important. People say, would you go to work for the money? Would you go to work to meet girls? Well, I did go to work to meet girls. That is true. But I really wanted to be a good hairdresser. You know, I really wanted to be good, so I, I, I work really hard, as Jess indicated. And I did it because I wanted to, not because I had to. I was just really passionate about the industry. And sometimes it just takes a book, it takes a person, it takes some inspiration that you see that motivates you, that says, wow, I want to go down, I want to go down this path and work a little harder. Today, it's not that important if you want to work two days a week or six days a week, or you got to find what works for you, all right? I found what worked for me. <laughs> I still work all the time. I love it. My wife doesn't even want to go out to dinner with me anymore because I always look at people and go, she should have used a little bit more eyeliner. She needs to arch her brow. She'd look a little better with a little color around her face. I'm a classically trained hairdresser. I know how to make people look good. That's what I do. But this young guy, so homeschooled, decided he wanted to be a hairdresser, started coming to our Tuesday night classes. And I go, wow, this guy is ambitious. He hadn't even enrolled in school yet, and he's going to our classes. I, I was always impressed with Aaron Rodgers. So he decided to go to, to my beauty school. I worked out there all the time, but I, work, I still cut hair behind the chair, which I love. I'll never give that up. But he, uh, he came in, and, and he was just so bright. And like a lot of guys, you know, I was very challenged, you know, with, with you know, the hand-eye thing and combing. And it was difficult for me. I was really a bad student. And it was challenging for him at first, but I never saw anybody work harder than Aaron Rodgers. And he'd still come to class. I'd do these seminars. I'd worked for product companies for years. And he'd start traveling with me. And it would go to, you know, different places. And he wanted to get in the weeds and drink the Kool-Aid. And I go, I've never seen anybody as, he's more ambitious than I was. You know, he's just incredible. So uh, we hired him right away when he graduated from beauty school. He was my assistant, my personal assistant. He learned so fast. I was so impressed with him. I said, you should be a platform artist, make some money, have a good day rate. And... Uh, he was all about it, travel with a quaj. I was working for a quaj at the time. And then we started Prosper You. And he said, God, I just really like what you're doing here. I don't want to give up hairdressing because I love it. He does it not for the money. He does it because he wants to, you know. And that's the way I am. I, I want to do it. So anyway, he took Prosper You. And I, I said, but man, this guy has better ideas than I do. He's motivated. He's, he's young enough that he really gets it. And uh, anyway, I couldn't be more impressed. So he is here for you. He's got a great relationship with Clary Sage. We love this school. This is one of the top schools in the country. Y'all are lucky to be here. It is just, uh, you know, we love our relationship w with this school, I got to tell you. Uh, so without any further ado, I want you to give a nice Tulsa warm welcome to my dear friend, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Woo. He always mentions.
questions that I was homeschooled. I was like, man, that was like 13 years ago. Bro, Come I on, just, leave me alone. I just think that's cool. So I've been, doing, I've been doing hair now for uh, 13 years, uh, including school. Um, because I like to include school because your, your future professionals, it, th this is the real world. You know, uh, I think a lot of times people want to diminish school and they say, it's like, oh, when you get into the real world, it's going to be like this. This is the real world. It takes a couple years to build a business, and if you can really hone in and build your business while you're here, you're halfway there. You're halfway there to making your beauty school license a career, not just a job. You know, I, I, I've, I'm a little bit of a workaholic. I got that from my dad. Uh, you know, uh, he's owned his own business for years, and so I like working, but I like making it an option, not an obligation. So my goal is for you to, if you want to work extra, do it, but it's an option. That's because you want an extra something. You want to send your kids on a special vacation. You want to uh, do something special for yourself or a loved one, whatever the case may be. But when it boils down to it, it is an option. Work hard um, at, at, at something that you love, then you never work a day in your life. However, you have to be smart about it now. It's easy to get burnt out. It's easy to um, find that you've overworked yourself or overextended yourself. So some of the stuff that we're going to be talking about today is how to, how to really put a strong focus on the business. So we're balancing your passion on beauty with business. So and, balancing beauty with business. And, and let me just segue into this because I can tell you because I, I, I barely made it through high school. I got kicked out twice. I got kicked out of beauty school. How many I, times? Three I, times? Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> I, my, my, I have a very sordid past, but the thing about numbers in business, nobody likes the numbers. Nobody. I hate the frickin' numbers, but guess what? They're the barometer. They're the health of your business. They tell you everything. You want to make a lot of money? You want a good client retention? You want to have big dreams? You got to know the numbers. And the numbers that we deal with are the most important numbers that have to do with your careers. So as I pour over financials. I've got three companies. I look at long term. I look at everything. I hate it. I still hate it. And I luckily, I just hired my daughter as CFO for my company a couple years ago. She's a lot smarter than I am about that. But but she, but you just, you gotta, you, you gotta embrace what he's gonna tell you. Cause we've tried to make the numbers so easy with our app and everything else we're doing. But the people that know the numbers hit the goals faster. They accomplish more. They retire sooner. They, they, when you understand those things, it, it's just a, it's a gateway into prosperity for you. That's why we are, are uh, kind of fanatical about, you know, our app and prosper you. Cause we, we know. We know it works. I mean, it works in my company. It works in, I know a lot of hairdressers, I've taught this to, financial literacy and, and how to, how to pre-book your client, how to do all those kind of things we talk about with Prosperview, and it'll, it'll make a difference in your life. One thing we're really excited about, we're in 96 campuses that are on the United States and Canada now. And so we know that depending on your demographics, things kind of change a little bit. We know there's a foundation, but we know there's gonna be adjustments to uh, a demographic. There's gonna be an adjustments to you as an individual. So some of the stuff that we're gonna give you today is gonna to be foundational, but some of it's gonna be um, even an expansion. Oh, sorry, things have fallen off. So um, we're gonna uh, be covering the app today. Um, on, on our agenda. Um, another thing that we're going to be covering is we're going to be uh, talking about Eric's story and his success. And uh, we, want, we really also want to talk to you about the importance of systems in your business. Because systems make things more manageable. Um, I'll, I'll give you, for instance, my, my wife's also a hairdresser. Uh, she's a phenomenal hairdresser. She's making hand over fist money. And she's always been kind of against me coaching her. You know, she's like, leave me alone. I've got it. And then um, the, she, the, every day has been some kind of level of stress that she's talking about. She's talking about the, the clients always reaching out to her, messaging her, um, the money. She doesn't know exactly how much money she's making. And so finally, she's starting to let me break it down for her to organize her business in a way that we can automate some of it so that we can you know, get a healthier schedule and a, and a healthier relationship with money. Because you know, in this hair industry, we have a tendency, and skin care, the beauty industry in, in, in general, we have a tendency to live service to service. Let me say that again. Yeah. We have a tendency to live service to service. So what happens, and Paula's shaking her head, yeah, I know what that means. I did a haircut, I did a service, I got the money and said, great, I have 150 bucks. Those Steve Madden shoes, yes, I do want them. <laughs> And, and, and we're, so we're learning, living service to service and we're, we don't have a very healthy relationship with our money. We might be making money, 
uh, uh, but we don't have a healthy relationship with the money. So there's some of the things that we're going to talk to you a little bit about today to help you have a better, healthier relationship with as well. Um, and like I mentioned, Eric's story uh, literally highlights where the systems come from because the systems w weren't just something where it's like, oh, well, let's do that because we think it might work. It's like, no, it's years. There are over 30 years of um, him coaching stylists, working with them, and so we know the systems work. It's not because we, we think they do. We practice them. Then we took them, we, <laughs> plural, I like to say we, the plural. <laughs> Eric took them and embedded them in his school because I was a little bit later. I was actually a product of his school. And so Eric took those best practices, embedded them at the school, and then made resources to make it easier for teachers to teach you this, those same practices. Because sometimes in school, it, what, what works in school doesn't necessarily work in a salon or vice versa. You have to have different resources. So we, we wanted to separate those out so we know what's foundational for you that's going to carry on from school and then into the, into the professional realm. Like I said, this is still the real world. Uh, so professional realm, your future professionals. Once you have that license, you're good to go. It, you know, the great thing about school is what I tell my students. This is, this is the learning platform. This is where you can make mistakes and get away with it, you know. And we still make mistakes. I still, I had a client come in the other day. She goes, you know, I think one side's a little longer than the other. And I go, yeah, I think it just grew out a little faster than the other <laughs> side. But, but, you know, I still make mistakes, and, and that's okay. You can't define yourself by, by those challenges. But uh, I would ask you if, you know, a lot of people, I got in this industry for, for different reasons. I never thought you could make a lot of money. But when you understand what Aaron's telling you, you could, how many think you can make a lot of money in this business, being a barber, esthetician, a cosmetologist? Absolutely. You know, we, I was just in New Orleans at a big school show. The average hairdresser in America works 27 hours a, a week and makes, I think it was $59,000 without tips, all right? So how many think you can make a lot of money in tips? Yeah, so listen, tips are amazing. So you gross 100000 which is really not, when you get in the real world, that's not a lot. 100000 150000 you make 20%. You're putting an extra $40,000. I've got stylists that do it, an extra 40000 in your pocket because of tips. Guess what tips are based on? Service, good customer service. So you put all these parts and pieces together, you serve your clients, and I, I tell you, with me, I don't care if they're rich or poor, tall, small, we treat them all like they're the most important person on the planet. You can't ever let your ego get in the way of success when it comes to clients. You gotta be humble. I'm humble all the time, I'm humble with you. I'll tell you any, we're totally transparent, we'll tell you everything, you know? But that's the way you gotta be when you work. If you're up here and the client's down here, guess what? You know, they're never gonna come back. I don't care if you give them the best haircut, best fade, best facial they've ever had. They don't like you, they don't connect with you, they're not coming back, period. So you gotta think about those things constantly. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about a tool that we created to help us with this. Because I think when it boils down to it, um, it it's, it's all about the focus that you put on it because uh, we, we know where you put your focus is where you get your results. But it does relate back to sometimes your organization. Um, I am not the most organized person in the world. <laughs> you can ask anybody. <laughs> My desk looks like a train wreck almost every day. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm putting a little more focus on being more organized. And as we've been working, I mean, we're 10 years as a company now with Prosper You. And we've always done co conversations on goal setting. And we've always had a tool for goal, for goal setting, and it was a financial tracker. But we found it was just a piece of paper or a paper book that was just getting shoved into a locker and no one was ever using it. Have we ever experienced that before? Have we ever gotten a book and then just shoved it in a locker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, it, all the time. And so we really wanted to put a stronger emphasis on goal setting, so we turned to making an app. We want to make the best uh, app for you to set goals and to track those goals and better understand what it is that I need to do personally. So in goal setting, we talk about this in our lessons, that a goal needs to be specific. So I want to make a lot of money is really not a specific goal. It's just like, like when, when does it end? You know? um, so you know, I want to make $60,000 within the uh, $60,000. That'd be more specific. Then it needs to be um, uh, uh, it needs to have a, a deadline. It needs to have, so specific, I'm, I'm sorry, measurable, uh, and then it needs a deadline, and then also needs to be realistic, like actually achievable. We like to add one thing to that. 
And I like, to th I like for you to think about this when you think about goals as we're talking about the app and everything. What I want you to think about is not just the specific, the measurable, the deadline and achievable. What I want you to really, really think about is, is it meaningful to me? What is a meaningful goal for me? Mine was, I, I want to be able to provide for my family. I mean, that was a huge one for me. You know, I, I grew up and it was like a couple fish sticks and a scoop of macaroni for, for, for lunch, you know, if we were lucky. So it was one of those things, it was like, I really wanted to um, offer a, a better life for my, my children. That was really the biggest thing. Um, so I want you to think about what is that meaningful goal for you. And then, um, uh, so kind of keep that in your mind, maybe write it down as we're going. Um, you don't have to share it, that's okay. I just want you to think about this as in a structure. What's meaningful to me when it comes to my goal? You know, like we, we want to be in the beauty industry. Oh, that's fantastic. What do you want to do in the industry? Let's get more specific. Let's put a measurable thing to it. He's like, you want to be in the industry? You want to make a difference in your community? Um, you know, what does that look like? So food for thought. And then I want to dive into this tool that we've developed. So the Prosper You Pro app. So I want you to all take out devices, all your phones, because we're going to go through this all together. So I know some of you already have the app downloaded. That's fantastic. Um, so that's great. But if you haven't downloaded it yet, and it's just an app, it's not, it's not web-based, it's just an app. So you can't get it on any laptops. You can get it on, if you have an Android device or an Apple device, so Prosper You Pro, that's it right there. Go ahead and download that for me. So as it's downloading, I'm going to pull this up. But what this, what this app does for you is, is it's going to give you some ideas of what you need to make to live your current lifestyle. So survive. How many of us would like to be able to make enough money from our, from our license? And, and that's it? Like we, we, we're making enough money on our license? Yeah? To support ourselves? And then how many of us want to exceed that? Right. So I'm going to show you what you need to make to live your current lifestyle, and then I'm going to show you what you can do to exceed that. Does that sound good? Yep. Sweet. So I think it's the Clary Sage Salon floor. There it is. Awesome. Can everybody see my iPad screen? Yes. Awesome. So the Prosper Pro app, that's what that looks like. That's the icon right here. As and I open that up, it's going to open up right on the tracker. So I want you to go ahead and download the app and make an account. So download the app, make an account. So let me ask you this on, on top of this. So in the, first, in the app, we have you track, and then we have some activities. I love tracking. I love goal setting, but it's not even my favorite feature in the app. Really, my favorite features are in the app is the life expense calculator and the income calculator. So how many of us in here have budgeted before? Budgeted? Budgeted? How many of us have taken what we know what our budget is to find out how many services we need to do to reach that budget? A few of us? Awesome. Is that a class that we do here? Yeah. Awesome. How many of us love doing math? Oh, you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> I was in oh business and accounting before this. Really? I did two years of it. Yeah. I just didn't want to be behind a desk. You're so sick I love too. Math. I know. How many, of, how many of us hate doing math? How many of us hate it? Despise it? Okay. <laughs> Awesome. So what I'm excited about this, when it comes to this Prosper Pro app, is that you don't have to do math. What I want you to do is once you've finished downloading the app, I want you to go and I want you to fill this out with me. So once you've made an account, I really want you to fill this out with me. This is the life expense calculator. This is where you can type in on different categories like housing, utilities, transportation, food, health, personal, debt, savings, and pets. So there's, once we click into those boxes, it's going to show us multiple categories. I want you to fill this out with me because this is going to be a great exercise for you to know what you need to make to live your current lifestyle. And you can play with those numbers. Maybe, maybe you're, 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 you're just about to make a new move and you're going to be moving into a new apartment. Maybe it's your first apartment or maybe it's an upgrade to a new apartment. So then you can type in that expense in there and you could say, what's my future life ex expenses going to be? So you can, you can do it two ways. You can put your current life expenses or you can put a few of your future life expenses in there. So once you've got in, you've made that account, 
Let's get into that life expense calculator. So we should be almost all close to getting there. I want to go through it all together, so I just don't want to jump ahead of anybody. Yeah, you go check your email. You're in. Awesome. Love it. Good job. So you don't have goals in there yet. So when you when you first download this, you don't have any goals. Um, it's going to be one of those things you don't have goals yet because you haven't set goals for yourself, and, and that's okay. We can we can talk about what that looks like and we answer questions. Paula, what's up? They keep telling me it's not a valid. Yeah, mine. OP, OTP number every time I type it in. Are you having the same challenge? Okay, um, we'll help you out um, here in a little bit, and we'll just have you partner up with someone. Um, that might be that, um, you know what? Did you just put your email in, and then sign up, and it sends you a, a code? Mm -hmm. Are you already signed up, though? Not for the pro. Okay, um, maybe go in and hit forgot password, and then have it send a new email, and see if that works for you. All right, so, I think some of us are still working on getting that out. There is, uh, uh, looks like there's a little issue, some, some of the codes being sent. Um, go in and type hit forgot password. So what I want you to do, if you're, if you're having that issue with the, 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 the code, what I want you to do is go ahead and forget, po forget password. It's going to send you a new email, and that should work for you. So maybe back out. I forgot password. Yep. Awesome. Anybody else having challenges with downloading it? Everyone else, who's in and got an account? Raise your hand high, please. Okay, for the most part, everyone's in. So again, if you're having a challenge with that code, I want you to go ahead and shoot an email to yourself for that code. Did you have a question, sir? Okay, cool. Awesome hair, by the way. Are you growing that out? I feel like I'm Yeah, I just got this. My, my, one of my clients my down to here me. for a mullet. Dude, he looks, he looks like uh, Alan Jackson. It's priceless. He's got the blonde hair. I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's, let's go through this together. I want you to fill out these life expenses with me. I've got quite a few of them in already. So we're typing in these life expenses. I'm going to just talk about mine. So, uh, you know, I have my current housing. Um, I'm, I'm going to swipe through these so you can kind of see. Um, I've got utilities down. So there's quite a few categories within this that we're filling out. Um, and so to your best of your knowledge, maybe you don't, you're, you're living at your parents right now, that's okay. Um, you can kind of fill out um, the ones that you do have uh, and we can leave it at that for, for this exercise. But again, like I mentioned, what about future life expenses? Do we want to live at the parents forever? You know, is the goal uh, to eventually live out on our own with a friend or by ourselves? So you can start typing those in in the future. But not right now, just you can type in your current life expenses. Thanks. Is it just falling off? All right. So I have already filled out all of mine. And so this is where I get really excited on this. We're going to pop back out, and it gives us a total. It tells us, okay, this is how much you're spending on a regular basis. 4486 bucks a month. I have four kids, or two kids, so four people in my family. But where the magic really happens, because we, we already know we're spending money on our budget, right? We already know we're spending money when it comes to our life, uh, life expenses. So where the magic really happens is I get to come in here and finish this exercise. So scroll all the way down to the bottom for me once you're done filling out those life expenses. And then you can come in here and say, okay, depending on where I'm going to work, maybe I'm going to work at a commission salon. Or maybe I'm going to work for myself as a booth or suite rental. Whatever the case may be, you can pop in here and type out what are you going to be paid or what are you going to pay yourself. So I had 45% in there right now, but I, I, let's say we're paying ourselves 50%. So what does that mean? I do a service for 100 bucks. I'm actually being paid either by myself or someone else that 50 bucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I say 100 bucks. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm making it $100 on a service, and then I'm paying myself 50%, so that's $50. Okay, but question, okay. And, and this may be, I'm not going to say stupid, because there are no stupid questions. No stupid questions. No stupid questions. Stupid, exactly. questions. stupid <laughs> answers, no stupid questions. Uh, Air high five. My, my question is, it's like when you figure out, like, so like when you figure out, like, you're going to give yourself 50%, so you get that $50, mm -hmm. where does the other 50 go? The other 50%? Yeah, you have fixed costs, you have variable costs, like you're going to be paying rent, 
You're gonna be paying. You're gonna be buying your products. Okay. So, so I'm gonna tell you this. Sweet. I'm a sweet rental. I sweet rent right now. So I'm still doing hair. I was like, I don't want to give up hair. I want to do sweet rental. I wanted to figure. I want to. I wanted to be in this world. Mm -hmm. You're very lucky if you're paying yourself 50% as a sweet rental, especially starting out. Right. Question. Uh, Okay. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Go for so it. You, you also have yeah. taxes to pay. Yeah. You know, and taxes, nobody likes paying taxes, but those taxes, they're called employment taxes or FICA. They're for Social Security, okay, cool. disability, and things like that. So you got you got to pay them. You so, want to pay them. We got another question right here. Do you hold that off to, like, just hold that money back or hold it in another account? Or like, exactly. You you're, you're way ahead. Good. This is awesome. Yeah. So the question is, do you hold that money back? Do you put it into a different account? And I would say yes. So what I'd actually, accounts. what's that? You have multiple accounts. Multiple have accounts. Account just for your taxes. Yep. yep. So the yep. way I like to organize it and how we recommend in our financial literacy program is that you have an account that all the money goes to. That's your business account. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's where all your money should be funneled to. And then uh, keep track of your numbers for, you know, maybe you're gonna pay yourself once a week, you're gonna pay yourself maybe bi-weekly, and if you keep track of those numbers, you know how much money to pay yourself from that account. So it's not service to service anymore. It's not, I, got, I made $200 today, I have $200. It's like, I made $200 today, I made $300 tomorrow, I made 50 bucks on Friday, now I got this total and I take half of that and I pay myself into another account. So multiple accounts. Write this one down because this is actually really helpful and we just organized this way for our sweet rental. If you're looking at doing that, this is a must uh, when it comes to best practices. Mm -hmm. Have an account that handles all of your, your, your money coming in and then keep track of what you're making and pay yourself bi-weekly and act like it's your business. Treat it like a business, not a hobby. When, we treat, when, we, when we're living service to service like that, it can feel very much like a hobby. Now we've had um, coaching instances with stylists where it's like, I don't know if I'm making enough money and in reality, they are, they're just not, they don't have a good relationship with their money. They don't have a good system set up with their money. So these are all things that can really help you make sure that you are on top of your game when it comes to the business side. If you found passion somewhere else, go. That's okay, we want you to go live your passionate life. But when it comes down to, if you have passion here, you really wanna be here, I want you to be able to stay here because you can make money with it. The sky's the limit. Love it. The sky's the limit. Awesome, so those are the two features that I love the most. Those are more of like exercises, um, it kind of gives you an idea of what to do when it comes to setting your goals. You can base your goals off of these numbers. Uh, for those that have just downloaded the app, you'll notice that you don't have goals yet, but you can set those goals. Um, does, it, can someone, uh, does someone got not, not have goals that can show me? So no goals right there, so if you click that circle, and that bottom right hand side is the plus sign, you can walk your way through it. So it, you can set your goal based off of what you want to do. So go through these exercises first, and I want you to set goals on your own, but I was gonna show you a couple things about the tracking function on this, and then we can wrap up the conversation on the app. So when it comes to tracking, one thing I really wanna hit is that if you are working Monday through Saturday, and you forgot to track, and you get to Saturday, and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to track all my stuff, and you're typing it in, that's busy work. That's not the real work. The real work starts when you get here on your first day, Monday, whether it be Monday or Tuesday, whatever the day is that you're working, it's your first day of, of the week on the floor or in the spa, whatever the case may be. You look at your week and you type in your whole week. Okay, and then you can say, this is what I have for my week because you can see that. You can see what is my week shaping up to be. And you can base your marketing based off how well you're doing that week. Maybe you're full already that week. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back, celebrate with a friend. Uh, so maybe you're looking at next week and your marketing is gonna be focused on next week. So this is meant for you to get ahead of your strategies and really implement what's really gonna make the needle move. Not, not looking in the past. If you're just looking in the past, pull a POS report. You know, pull a report to look at what you, your KPIs and leave it at that. But if you really wanna take ownership over this, type in what you have and take a look at those numbers and self-correct. Maybe you don't have enough clients that week, so you need to canvas for more. Maybe you have enough clients, but you need to focus on add-on services. Maybe you're good, you're seeing some regulars, you know that you're gonna hit those, those clients and add-on services or the service total. Uh, maybe you need to focus on retail because you haven't sold a product in a couple weeks. 
And again, that product is the glue between appointments. So when it comes to the tracker, oh. so yeah, finish your sentence. Okay. When it, so when it comes to the tracker, that's the that's the process. When it, when it comes to any goal, really, you write it down and then you monitor it. And you're not writing it down a year from now. It's like, I really hope that I, you know, become the director at Prosper U. And it's like, oh, well, that's after the fact. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm, I'm setting it a year ago and I'm monitoring the progress. What do I need to be that director? Cool? So when it comes to this, oh, did you want to add into that? Oh, I, I just want to say, you know, you just, if you're a possibility thinker, like, when the pandemic hit, we just opened this new, really amazing salon downtown. I mean, it's really cute. I did like a Paul Smith store out of London. So cool. I mean, spent a lot of money on it. And then the pandemic hit. We are downtown. Everybody's working from home. Kicked our ass, right? I mean, my rents are expensive. My payroll's expensive. But I said, you know, let's just, there was a little restaurant next door. I said, let's just see what we can do. So I'm meeting the manager from the downtown salon. I go over there and I said, you got to prospect a little bit more because there's a lot of people working from home. And you got, you know, you're downtown, it's packed, it's, there's a lot of activity. So we're eating at this place called Homegrown. And this waitress comes over and I said, you know, like I, I say all the time, I p give people compliments. I'm, I'm, I look at the positive, not the negative. I said, hey, your hair looks great. You know, she goes, oh, you know what? I just moved here from Cincinnati and I went to this <laughs> hairdresser that it lives in my apartment building, but I don't like it. The color looks a little brassy and I don't like the way she cut it. So I'm looking for, I go, well, you know, my name's Eric Fisher. I own the salon next door. We got some really great people. She goes, you know, I saw that. It looks really cool. I go, you know, let me do a VIP for you. So this is something, our budget, for this is about 30000 to 40000 a year. This is how many we hand out. I said, let me just give you, this is all beaten up, but let me just give you a free cut in color, weave and conditioner. And I'll, 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 you can put anybody, they're all really good downtown. Guess what I have now? A client for life. She got that VIP. This is what, probably two years ago? She still comes in. I still see her. She's still a waitress at the same place. But she comes to our salon. She loves it. So, yeah, did it cost me money in the beginning? It did. But guess what? I use these, all the cheerleaders who are the influentials in their high school, we give them free VIPs. We give v VIPs to everybody. You know why? They're business builders. So when you got a little time, you go next door and you go, hey, I, you know, I'm just in beauty school. I'm trying to build my clientele. I'm having a great time. I'd love to have the opportunity to cut your hair or to do a facial or, you know, give you a, a nice haircut. And uh, you just do it for nothing. And guess what? I don't know. You know, obviously you got to talk to your teachers and all that, but... This has been a great way to build our business. We're always searching to how to build our business, even today. Love it. Whenever you say things like what caught me when he just said, and, and I'm having fun, and I love it, yeah. and I would love to do that for you. I mean, people get really excited whenever you get excited. That's so you true. tell them that you're having so much fun, then they realize that because the money will come. But if yeah. you're having fun, then it's going to be contagious. And who doesn't want to be in a shop when you're having fun? Now, I said fun. I didn't say hi, messed up. <laughs> no. I didn't say any, That's know, another level of fun. Right. So, but you know what I mean? Maybe more like right here. Want yeah. To be where you're having fun. Because, again, the money will come. Yeah. You don't right, necessarily absolutely. know oh, if they've got a good... Right. If, sometimes they don't know if they've got a good service, but they do know how you made them feel. That's right. You guys hear that? Yes. That's, That's profound. Especially if you're doing long layers and beach waves. They, you know, anybody can do that almost, you know? But if you feel great, if you have that human connection with that... You know, service provider, you're going to be excited about going back and seeing them. Not only that, but when they leave, they're going to tell their friends, I, oh my God, I went to Aaron Rodgers. You know, he is the coolest guy. He really connected with me. I just love this guy. And, and I think my hair looks good too, you know. I think. But it's about the relationship. <laughs> Always about the relationship. Always. Not just this business, but any business. So the tracking's really straightforward. To track, there's the bottom right hand side, the bottom left, uh, bottom right hand side, sorry, and you click that tracker. Did you have something to add? No, I wanted to see if I could see that. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, the um, so, bottom right hand Absolutely. side, you click to track. You do have to have goals set up to track. So, if you, you don't see what I'm seeing, you have to go in and set goals. So, if, you, if it says you don't have goals set up yet, you click that middle part, that middle circle, and it allows you to set goals. Did you have a question? Yes. What does post mean? Post is social media posts. 
So we, we do have you set a goal on posts. The reason we have you set a goal on posts is to, so you can keep track of how much posting are you doing on your business side. So you can have some analytics on that. Like how often am I posting? And it's, and it's just a nice reminder. Um, some of us are just avid posters. You know, it's like, I love social media, I'm constantly posting. Or some of us might not like social media and it's kind of hard to remember to post. So it's there as a nice reminder like, hey, remember to post about your business. And don't just do before and afters, do uh, other things like um, your experience. Talk about your experience here at the school. Tell people like, what you've learned. Generate some excitement over other things than just your work. So then you can start de uh, kind of separating yourself from the sea of sameness. If we do we, does any of us follow any professionals? Do we follow, do we follow professionals? Yeah. Hairdressers, estheticians, barbers, all of that, yeah? So, you know, if you're looking at some of them, they, sometimes it starts to become like a sea of sameness, but then every now and then you'll see someone doing, like popular nobody, I love that guy. And he, and he doesn't necessarily just oh, yeah. post just haircuts. John Mosley, popular John, nobody. You guys have John to follow Mosley. him. We were just up for Educator of the Year, John and I, and, and he beat me out. And my and John used to play professional, well, not professional football, college football. College He's football. a wonderful guy. He's a big guy. So my son is 6'5 and weighs 230. So these guys connected. And I, it was such a cool thing. And he says, Dad, I'm so glad John beat you because this means so much to him. And you, you're an old guy. You've won everything you can imagine. But for him, he's the coolest guy. I love Gabe. I he's love, hilarious. I love John Mosley. Yep. He's a wonderful guy. John Mosley. John Mosley. Yeah. Rob the Original is another barber. I love this guy. We work together. He's got over a million followers. J Liam Fan is another yeah. one that is just big time. Popular nobody. Uh, on, on social media, it's popular, popular nobody. nobody. So it's John Mosley, but it's use popular nobody. Fast. Yes, of course. I'll be back. Okay. Presley Poe is awesome, yeah, for hairdressers. Um, it, it, estheticians, I, you know, I don't follow a ton of estheticians. Um, yep, that's it, that's him, yep. So find a way to, 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 to and that's what that post is there for. That was, that was my rant, sorry. I went on a rant with one question. Uh, it's easy to do. Um, so that's what we're looking for when it comes to setting a goal for posts uh, and, and finding ways to, to post above and beyond what we're already doing. So um, tracking wise, again, it's pretty simple. You top, bottom right hand side, you hit that calendar. Now we're on a calendar. We're gonna hit a plus sign down here. And then we're just gonna fill in this information. So for you, one thing to note is that you don't have products and services set up yet. You need to fill that out because you wanna think about your menu. So it's time to start filling out your menu and then thinking about how much money am I gonna charge how much money am I going to charge? So one way to, to start working on that, you can do like a pricing for profit. You can think about what your expenses are and how much money you're going to spend on expenses. Or you could maybe start off a little, little like lower stakes. You could just look at the shop that you want to work at. Maybe the spa you want to work at. So you could kind of base your prices on that. But I'd be careful with that because sometimes people have themselves set way too low. So you've got to think about what it, kind of profit you're looking to make. So when it comes to pricing those parts, so start doing research. Start thinking about what am I going to price myself at? And then you can start typing those in. And what's great is that now when you're tracking here in school, you could see what you could possibly be making when you're outside of school. Because our prices here at schools are set so low to entice people in so we can practice. <laughs> Not just old people, you can get young people in here too. And <laughs> seasoned, <laughs> seasoned, well seasoned. <laughs> Eric's well seasoned. <laughs> I'm just joking. Thank he's a, you. He's a 30 year old Thank man. You. All right, so that's the tracker. I didn't want to get too far into that because it's pretty, it's pretty self explanatory. But what I want you to think about is not tracking what's happened in the past. Get here and type in what you have for the future so you can really start um, getting a bead on where you are with your goal and where you, where you want to be with your goal and what kind of marketing, what kind of systems you need to put in place. Like the client value stream, focusing in on those systems to help build and pad your books a little bit better. Because those are, uh, at that time, with me and Robin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, talking to her and gathering information from Robin and I'm gonna make ro product recommendations. I'm gonna make extra service recommendations. You know, if, if, if client w uh, Robin was in my chair and I'd have enough time, I'd, I'd talk to Robin about when was the last time you've colored your hair? 
I, and, and maybe I don't have time for that today, but maybe I'm going to pre-book that next service with her. So there's so much that we can be doing with the client that's just in your chair, and then so much that we can do to be marketing to people that are outside our funnel, and we get them to funnel down into becoming one of our raving fans. So that's the tracker, and that's the app. Those are the three main functions in the app. There is a blog um, that's posted um, kind of on a semi-annual basis right now. It's kind of some free information, one, things that we, we find really important, we throw into the blog um, just to get you up-to-date information. So check that out periodically. Um, and, but the, the, the main functions in this is that financial tracker, the income calculator, and the life expense calculator. So far, what are we thinking? Love it. Love it. Love it. Cool. cool. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and listening to me rant. I, I really appreciate it, but I'm really passionate. I, I, I want you to be able to stay here. I mean, really, this is the, one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. The first day at school, I called my mom and I said, I'm a mama's boy, I think if you can tell. That's probably pretty <laughs> obvious. Uh, <laughs> uh, I called her and I said, this, this is my place. This is the, these people are all just like me. You know, they're high energy, they want to have fun, they want to be here, they have passion for something. I, I want, so I love this community, I just want it to grow. And I want you to be able to make a really great living. So thank you, that's my time, and I'm gonna turn it on over to Mr. Eric Fisher. Right, thank, thank you. you. Yay, Mr. Rogers! Right there. <laughs> oh. Love this guy. Thanks, Dad! Love this guy. I'm his hair daddy, okay? <laughs> Who's your daddy now? Huh? No! <laughs> Oh, so uh, do we? Do you want to take a break or anything? Everybody, yeah, stand up. Yeah. Why don't you just yeah, stand up, stretch a little bit, go to the bathroom. You got about ten, five, ten minutes. I'll call him and I'll, I'll get it on it. Um, you might just have to check back in a week or so. Um, but we'll talk to him.